welcome back to the channel now in this one what we're going to do hopefully it'll stay dry for long enough to get this done is want to try and get some more panels or get the rest of the panels on top of the roof of the garage so i've already got some bits and pieces prepared so i've got the ladders up i've got a panel what i'm going to do is get up there get that panel up see how it's going to fit see how much of that i've got to trim in order to make it fit and get another one in behind it right then so that's another panel on as you can see it's left a gap a little gap up at that end which i don't want there like that so all these holes line up with the holes underneath them so they line up perfectly for the screws going in what i've done is i've put a mark there which is about an inch and a half two inches past the holes so i'm going to take this down trim along there just use this little bit here to go in this hole and then a full panel will go from here up to the end of the garage so that's the line marked so i'm just going to find a way of cutting that i'm thinking because of how thin this stuff is i might get away cutting that with tin snips right now i'm just cutting this with no normal tin snips that actually going through really easily the only hard part is trying to fill them as i'm doing it but they're all going through really easily i'll come back to you when i get a bit further through the panel with two hands right well that's all cut so nice short panel now easy to carry on easy to maneuver as you can see from the holes to the end there's a nice overhang so that will stop any water leaking in where it's going to join uh, it's going to go up on the roof in this direction and then the next piece i can put on will go from that side all the way up there to the end of the garage roof as you can see that's another bit on now it's still floppy over here I haven't screwed that on yet because I've got another panel to go on top of that which I'll screw into I'll just drill some holes through drill like that one but I'll hold this in place and stop it flopping around so much I'm going to go inside and put a clamp on here to hold it down if it gets windy and there's the next piece on I've actually screwed this down along this edge hold it in place stop it flapping obviously that's part of the overlap there and the original holes here will be where the next panel screws in you'll notice to put these ones in here to hold it for now well, that's the next panel up in the row now i need to go back inside cut another one to go in there and then another one to go in that side and then we can come back up on the outside put this long panel in and put long panels along there and that'll be the back end of this garage finished and this is what it looks like from inside the garage oh, cobweb get rid of that later but as you can see it's all solidly in there's a little bit of daylight up there in that corner but nothing's sealed yet nothing's fixed permanently in yet so we'll get on to the next one and then this bit here i haven't actually screwed down at all because the next panel that goes on is going to screw into that across there as well so the next panel will go from here to about there where that clamp is and then the next one after that will take it across to there so i need to cut another two panels plenty over there to cut them so we'll get the next one lined up measure it get that cut now if you're enjoying this video give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy watching this kind of thing going on it's not just renovating the garage video that's on here there's loads of car stuff all the videos of the work that i've done on the cars all the events and the car shows that i go to uh, there's loads on the channel and there's plenty more to come as well i'm trying to get the garage finished now so i can get a car in here and do some work on the cars over the course of the winter but there's loads more to come and if you feel like supporting the channel a little bit there's links in the description below to my patreon page to where you can buy me a coffee and also there's some information there on how you can get a channel sticker you can also find me on facebook at double zero garage and on instagram at double zero garage as well there's links to those in the description below as well as everything else well i've got the next two panels cut they're the short ones and they're going to go up there now i was going to try and get the, the camera up there as well so i could film the panels going on but unfortunately there's nowhere solid enough to put the camera at a decent angle where you could see us putting the panels on so i'll just get the panels on then i'll come back to you and i'll let you see them up there fitted and we can move on to the next bit well that's another couple of panels we've got up so we're going all the way across there now they're all nice and solid i'm going to see if i can get any on this side try and start to fill in some of this hole apparently we've got storm kieran on its way another storm only a few days after the last one so i've got to get these panels up here up there in the corner up to there on before the storm hits so i can try and keep this as dry as possible and i need to get those on today 
for ready for the storm hits later on tonight, early tomorrow morning, according to the weather. So let's crack on with that. All right, well, there's another one on. So I'm gonna try and get another two in there before the weather changes. Well, here's another one of those angles you don't see very often. Look at that though. All the back half of the roof is on. This is a bit of a mess, granted. And of course, the old roof's tied on with a couple of ropes to make sure it stays on. This is all leaking and rotten and it's actually nailed in. Look at that. It's actually nailed in. He's nailed it. I mean, who nails roof panels to roof? For God's sake. Never mind. All this has got to come off yet and be replaced with stuff like that. A lot thinner. A lot easier to handle. And of course this needs filling in as well. Well, all this stuff's got to come off. It's all uh, soaking wet, soggy. You could probably wring it out. <laughs> Let's go and have a look inside. And this is what it looks like inside now. All those panels in. I know some bits of light showing, but I'm not going to worry about that. They're all in. Let's just this gap here to sort out. And then obviously all of that. But before I can do any of that up there, I've got to shift all of this. Everything, all of it. It's all got to go up here in this general direction somewhere once that's gone and this is all dried out. Now I'll leave a link up here to the playlist for everything else I've done on the garage. So if you're just new here, you can catch up on how we got where we are now with the garage. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye for now.